Hi guys, I'm Lex, welcome to my channel. If you have not been here before, thank you for coming in, welcome in. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. When you subscribe, we automatically become best friends. So about a week ago, I put um, on my Instagram story asking my followers what they wanted to see and I had so many requests for my skincare routine. Um, this kind of caught me off guard because in no way am I professional, um, I'm not an esthetician, I've never studied it, <laughs> but I had a lot of people request to see what I do for my skincare routine, so that's what I'm going to share with you today. So if you like this idea for a video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Again, if you've not already, subscribed, and let's get started. So my skincare regimen is something that I have taken very seriously for pretty much as long as I could remember. So taking care of my skin is something that my mother instilled in me um, from my early teens and on. My mother is in her late 50s and her skin is flawless. She's never had to get any work done. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and I, I hope that my skin is as nice as my mother's when I am her age. So I want to share some of the things that she always recommended to me and that she has taught to me over the years. So first things first is let's talk about what you put on your skin. So most females, myself included, do put on makeup daily. Um, particularly my foundation, my powder, and my bronzers, I always make sure that they are a high quality and that they're non-comedogenic. Um, so that way they're not gonna clog your pores. Um, you wanna make sure that you are putting on quality products because to be completely honest, crappy ones are gonna treat your skin like crap. So make sure that you are using nice products, at least, at least, at least, at least, the foundation, the powder, and the bronzer, the things that you are putting directly on your skin. Um, I do use cheaper eyeshadows and uh, mascaras and things like that, but when it comes to the majority of my skin, it is nice products. And then always take your makeup off at night. This is the most important thing that I could preach. I never go to bed with makeup on. Even if I'm feeling really sick or if I had too much to drink that night, I at least use a makeup wipe to take it off. Uh, always, always take makeup off your skin. The worst thing you could do for it is to go to bed with makeup on your face. That's just asking for problems and asking for breakouts. Just going to sleep with a bunch of gunk on your face. So always take it off. And so another important thing is sunscreen. I do use sunscreen daily. Even though I am like an olive skin tone, I don't burn very easily, but I always use sunscreen on my face. Uh, just a moisturizer with some SPF 30. Right now I'm using one by Origins, the white tea line. Um, I've only been using it for a couple weeks. So far I don't have any complaints. I really like it. It smells wonderful. It's rich and creamy and it does have the SPF in it. And then once a week, I do do a face mask of some sort, whatever I'm feeling, whether it's brightening, whether it's a purifying or just some sort of face mask. Uh, it's part of my self care routine and it's just pleasant as well. <laughs> Let's talk about my daily regimen. Each morning, um, I wash my face only with cool water. I don't use cleanser in the mornings. Um, I feel that when I do use a cleanser in the morning and at night, my skin gets really dry and irritated, like particularly around like, my nose right here and like my lip and my chin. Um, I kind of have combination skin, so I get a little bit oily in my T-zone areas, but around like the edges of my nose, around my mouth, um, and my cheeks, I can get pretty dry. So I feel like my skin's pretty normal all around. So again, I only wash it with water in the morning and then I put on the Origins uh, moisturizer with an SPF and then my good quality makeup products so I'm not clogging my skin throughout the day. At night, I use um, a makeup eraser cloth. I got it from my good friend, Leona. She uh, runs Vivid Brows and Skin. She's the only person I allow to touch my face, uh, my waxing, my eyebrows, anything like that. I highly recommend her. I will link her um, social media profiles in the bio below. But she recommended a makeup eraser cloth to me. Um, it's like a microfiber cloth and that's what I use to take off my makeup. It's so soft and you only have to use water. Um, and I love that. 
So you can use this really soft cloth with just water to remove your makeup, your eye makeup in particular. Please note that I do not use waterproof makeup. Um, I only use it when I'm going to be at the beach or in a pool or something and I don't want to look like, hi everyone, this is Ace, he likes to be part of my show as well. Um, I love you, I do, I'm filming right now. Um, but I do not use waterproof on a daily basis uh, because it does dry out your eyelashes and all the rubbing to try and remove it um, can cause wrinkles and nobody wants wrinkles. So I use the makeup remover, makeup eraser as my makeup remover um, to take it off and then I use a gentle cleanser. Right now I'm using one really high in antioxidants. I love antioxidants for my skin. Um, and my Clarisonic Mia 2 brush. I love my Clarisonic, like that is, um, my husband bought it for me two years ago for Christmas and it was the best gift, <laughs> minus my wedding ring, that he ever got me. I use it daily, I love it, and I swear by it. Um, it's a great investment if you consider getting one. I will also link that in the bio um, below as well. So check that out. So I use my antioxidant cleanser with my Mia brush and um, rinse with cool water. You never want to wash your face with really hot water. Always want to keep it kind of lukewarm or cool. And then right when I get out of the shower, I kind of pat it dry so it's still a little damp. I Right now I'm obsessed with the Mario Badescu uh, Rose Water Spray, so I spritz my face with that. And I am using a Vitamin C Serum by Amber. Um, and so this is going to help like brighten my skin and it is moisturizing as well. So I put that all over with my face a little damp from the rose water spray. And then I use an eye cream. Um, which one am I using right now? I can't, I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I will show you in the B footage. Sorry about that. Um, I use an eye cream and I lightly pat that under my eyes and on my eyelids. Very gentle. This one's full of pat which are plumping, which are going to help keep your eyes looking really youthful and bright. And then lastly, I am using this anti-aging oil by Soko and I'm obsessed with it. It smells so good and it feels so amazing on my skin. I'm a big fan of oils and serums. I know a lot of people don't like that greasy feeling on their face. Um, me, on the other hand, I actually love it. I feel like my skin is moisturized. I love like that dewy, glowy, J-Lo look. <laughs> I think it, it's beautiful and I embrace it because that's what my skin is kind of like naturally. So I'm all about oils and right now this Soko one is my obsession. So those are just my daily things for my face. Uh, I hope they are helpful for you. Again, every skin is different. I highly recommend finding an esthetician that you trust and is gonna guide you in the right direction. So after years of going to estheticians, I have found Leona and she is my go-to girl and I will stick with her until the day I die. <laughs> so one more thing that I did wanna add in regards to removing your makeup, I know it's been a trend to use coconut oil to take off your eye, eye makeup. Please, 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 please do not use coconut oil on your face. It is going to clog your pores. Coconut oil is wonderful for so many other reasons, for cooking, for putting on your body, for putting on your dry ends of your hair, but it is not meant for your face. And I know it's a popular trend. Um, my esthetician has begged me to never, ever, ever do that because it will clog your pores. So don't use coconut oil as a makeup remover. If you do use a tanning bed, make sure that you use one where you can turn the face lamps off. You can always use bronzer and make your face look tanner. You do not need to bake it and just make it age a lot faster. And then a huge thing is drinking a lot of water. So I do my absolute best to drink half a gallon a day. Uh, it's difficult and you have to remind yourself to do it. I recommend getting an app that will remind you to drink water, but keeping hydrated is going to help your skin so much. Um, it keeps it plump, it keeps it younger, it keeps it moisturized. It even helps with things like cellulite because um, your skin's just gonna be plumper and more hydrated. Um, so water is absolutely key. And then keeping your diet rich of micronutrients. So those are all 
the vitamins and minerals that come in healthy things like fruits and vegetables. So try and eat a really colorful diet full of fruits and vegetables of different colors. So those are my recommendations for taking care of your skin. I hope you like them. I hope they're beneficial. And again, I am not a professional. I am not an esthetician. I've never gone to school for this. These are things that I have learned over the years that have worked for me and through going uh, to an esthetician for years and years now. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please make sure you have subscribed to my channel so we can become best friends. I post every Saturday, so make sure you check in. Also, please feel free to follow me on other social media channels. Channels I do engage a lot more on Instagram and Facebook, and that's where I get a lot of my ideas for videos like this one. So please add me. I would love to connect on other channels as well. I will catch you guys soon. Mwah.